Hello students, the Gate ISPC Online Presenter welcomes you and today we are going to discuss about July 2019 current affair. In this video, very important current affair from July 2019 we are going to discuss here. And this current affair, whatever just I am providing here, this current affair especially just I am creating for my all student for uh, IESP 2020. Okay, so you can just check uh, everything whatever just I am providing, these uh, current affairs are very very important for your exam. So just try to read properly every current affair. And very important quiz or very important data from July 2019, also updating on our GS community okay so just check our website and you can just check GS community section there and in current affair I am trying to publish uh, some quiz or very important data from this month now sir material for this uh, video I am just providing in the video description just go there download there after watching this video you can just read that uh, material properly okay so first current affair GST day 1 July 2019 okay this day just uh, GST day because of 1st July every year we celebrated as a GST day. Why just 1 July sir? Because of this GST act, okay, good and service tax. GST is like one type of indirect tax before what happened, different kinds of tax on services and on goods. But only our government just started this GST, one nation, one tax, okay. And this GST is the combination of center plus state taxes, okay, like CGST and your SGST. So why sir 1 July? Because of this act is just was imposed from 1 July 2017 that's why this uh, every year on 1st july we are going to celebrate our gst day second current affair jal sakti abhiyan for water conservation launch this is under jal sakti ministry okay so already this is very important because in 2019 june month we have discussed very important current affair related to your exam jal sakti ministry and this word is very important for your exam why sir because this is like a formation of uh, three departments and uh, in future you will just see lots of programs related to water conservation biggest problem water okay that's why water conservation like uh, rain harvesting your uh, water set developments okay so all different kinds of program you will just see in future and all programs under which ministry jal sakti ministry that's why this jal sakti ministry in june 2019 i given three star and very important uh, current affair for your exam Again, I am just putting this very important because of Jal Sakti Abhiyan for water conservation launched by Jal Sakti Ministry. So, first of all, we are going to discuss, sir, what is this Jal Sakti Abhiyan? So, it is a collaborative effort of various union ministers and ministries and state governments and this coordinated by Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation, DDWS. So, because of uh, under this uh, Jal Sakti Ministry, basically three departments. So, this uh, Jal Sakti Abhiyan is just coordinated by which uh, department? Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. So, this is like a very important. So, basically five aspects of JSA, Jal Sakti Abhiyan. First is just known as sir, water conservation and rainwater harvesting. Second sir, renovation of traditional and other water bodies tanks. Third, reuse of water and recharging of structures such as war wells. Like in war wells, different reuse of water. Like our rainwater or like some different recharging methods are there to just uh, recharge our borewell water or some water uh, bodies. Now sir, water set development, proper water set development related to like small small water saving schemes. Fifth sir, intensive afforestation means sir, stabilization of forests is uh, again uh, basically five key ideas for Jal Sakti Abhiyan. Okay, so they can just ask Jal Sakti Abhiyan just launched by which ministry? This is like under Jal Sakti ministry and uh, which department is just uh, coordinated this uh, program? This department uh, name drinking water and sanitation DDWS and basically five aspect of JSA everything just we have discussed. So this current affair is uh, going to be very important for your exam. So just put a very important point here. Third current affair UGSC launched stride scheme. So university grants commission has launched stride scheme and this is Scheme related to what? Scheme to boost research, culture and innovation in college and universities. And this stride stands for a scheme of transdisciplinary research for India developing economy. Okay. So this scheme is just basically related by UGC and uh, they just launch uh, for uh, research program in uh, colleges and universities. Fourth current affairs, South Central Railway, SCR has commissioned the largest electrified tunnel in Indian Railway. So length for this tunnel is 6.6 kilometers. So basically, sir, this is like a past tunnel, 6.6 kilometer electrified, totally electrified trails are, are just running there. So that's why this is like important. It is situated between your Cherapalli railway station and uh, Rapuru railway station. So this is like a one type of uh, uh, departments uh, or like uh, a zone come under South Central Railway. So this is like a past uh, highest length uh, tunnel in India. Our fifth current affair, 
ILO report, ILO means sir, International Labour Organization and this is like a special department of United Nations which work for like labor departments, especially for labors. Okay, so they publish one report and title for that report is going to be very, very important. Just see, working on a warmer planet and the impact of heat, stress, labor, productivity and decent work. You know guys, due to global warming, due to pollution, this temperature of earth is going to increase. That's why what happened? Labor working outside in our agriculture field, in our uh, construction field, only labor. Okay, so labor working in high temperature. That's why their productivity is just decreasing. Your working hour is also going to be decreased. For example, in, in uh, your winter season, they are working for 8 hour but in summer season or like in a very hot seasons they are all working only 7.3 hours effectively because of due to this heat so international labor organization they publish a report so they given this idea you have to reduce this global warming biggest problem for this world sir global warming everything just global warming pollution we have discussed in our environment part so environment subject is again going to be very important for your exam so, 6th current affair, Union Budget 2019-20. So, this is like a very important current affair. You know guys, whenever just we are talking about this budget. So, every year financial budget is there. But this year what happens sir? On 1st Feb 2019, our finance minister, Pius Goel, published this interim budget. And now sir, on 5th July, Nirmala Sitaraman, new finance minister just published full budget. Why sir, this year two budgets? Just listen very carefully. Whenever a election year is there, then we need to just publish this interim budget and full budget. Because sir, before Modi government, okay, NDA government, they don't know this year in 2019 election they will win. That's why they cannot put a full budget. That's why whenever an election year come, you need to publish this interim budget or vote on account budget. Because uh, this budget, whenever you are making some spendings, you need to just take a vote on uh, your parliament then only you can just spend but sir just after completion of uh, your election you need to publish full budget interim budget means sir whenever election year interim budget we need to publish and whenever just like uh, election completed you need to publish any newly formed government they don't require to take this interim budget data so what happened so in interim budget the vote on account six parliament's note for increasing expenditure for part of a fiscal year however next government may change for example uh, in in the in interim budget they want to spend 2000 crore rupees for agriculture but in full budget government may change okay they can change this to 3000 or they can change to 1000 okay so this data is not important only for some uh, estimation we just publish this uh, budget okay so this idea is just clear basically union budget means sir uh, it is like a, sometimes uh, whenever this election year is there okay interim budget and full budget so interim budget just published on uh, 1 february by Pius goel and again sir modi government form and uh, modi government like finance minister again newly appointed finance minister nirmala sitaraman just published this full budget on 5th july 2019 and this year very important whatever written in budget is going to be very very important for your exam i need to suggest on gs community i publish 20 or 30 government schemes okay in budget 20 to 30 nearly 30 schemes okay they want to continue and all 30 schemes are very very important for your exam whatever just i written there try to read every scheme properly because from that scheme any type of question they can ask from this current affair because uh, for engineering services examination governmental schemes are very very important that's why whatever just they publish in budget of uh, this july 2019 everything is important that's why just i published there now sir we are talking about very important data of uh, budget here and these old data are going to be very important first of all i need to suggest this budget union uh, budget is basically India towards 5 trillion dollar economy. This is like a very important. Okay. Means sir, if we want to just increase our economy or size of economy, means sir, we are seeking for more and more investment, more FDI. Okay. Everything this, what is the FDI investment? Everything in last videos we have given. Okay. Now sir, in budget, basically 10 points for vision decade for government of India. First sir, Jan Bhagidari. Minimum government maximum governance for building of india space okay 
they are launching in the next years they are launching lots of missions related to like gaganyaan chandrayaan just recently launched other space missions related to environment focus sir pollution free india self sufficiency exports of food grains pulsage oil seeds fruits and vegetables fifth sir digital india digital india is a very successful program and they want to make to reach this digital india program to every every sector of government okay for example in the field of uh, education in the field of uh, like uh, all government work this digital digital india want to just they want to uh, put uh, this digital india programs everywhere in india so this is like a next uh, budget uh, or this year uh, they publish now sir building social and physical infrastructure seven sir water okay proper water management already sir we have discussed like water ministry just they publish eight sir blue economy blue economy means sir exploitation and preserving the marine environment okay ninth sir health and 10th uh, is just manufacturing economy so health related to you know guys very good important and scheme is just known as ayushman bharat so they can just ask this question because of uh, in budget they just given this scheme that's why this scheme is very important now sir manufacturing economy startups msme defense manufacturing electronic automobiles okay so everything under the make in india program so these are the basically 10 points they want to put for this uh, vision decade for union budget and very important data from different kinds of uh, this budget like uh, government schemes uh, different kinds of taxes and slab rates everything we have just published on our gs community you need to just go there and try to read properly so this is like a basic idea of union budget seventh current affair jaipur listed as a unesco world heritage site why sir jaipur selected because of it is like a combination of your uh, different uh, moguls and uh, like asian times hindu and mogul contemporary all town plannings are there like proper town planning related to your ancient times also in modern india also so they just like one type of different city so that's why they just given this take of uh, heritage site by unesco now eighth current affair chandrayaan second mission and very important for your exam again this chandrayaan second successfully launched by isro and this is by our gslv mk3 m1 and this is from your satish dhawan space center harikota andhra pradesh this is like delayed by one week due to some technical snags but successfully launched and we are going to discuss very important point related to chandrayaan second okay so first of all sir this is india's second moon mission already first we have launched but this is now second mission and very important data this year first ever mission to be spreaded by headed by two women first muthaiya vinitha and ritu karidal this both name are very important for your exam okay means sir first time this chandrayaan mission or any big mission just uh, headed by two ladies muthaiya vinitha and uh, ritu karidal both im names are important now sir why just this mission we launch this mission objective to demonstrate key technologies for end to end lunar mission capabilities including soft landing of uh, and rovering on lunar surface so means sir first time any country is just uh, making a soft landing of rover on south pole of moon and we expected this uh, chandrayaan second will reach on this uh, south pole by 7th september 2019 so everything very important data from chandrayaan we are going to discuss here now just try to read because of uh, this is a very important mission that's why i need to publish uh, this components how we are launching this uh, mission second everything from this uh, we are going to discuss here now very important component of chandrayaan second we are going to discuss so this chandrayaan consists basically four parts one is just known as rocket okay gslv mk3 so this is gslv mk3 and very important to take this uh, chandrayaan second to space okay so this is like a gslv mk3 why sir gslv mk3 is important because this year just isro launched this uh, gslv mk3 and this is like heaviest vehicle developed by isro and this is like a basically three stage launch vehicle and it can carry heavy payloads that's why this is also known as bahubali in last month current affairs also we have discussed related to gslv mk3 now sir this gslv on gslv 3 we are putting our chandrayaan second okay so gslv 3 carry this uh, chandrayaan second to our space but sir who will take this uh, chandrayaan second to moon this is work by orbiter and this is known as orbiter so orbiter this is orbiter okay so this orbiter will carry to this uh, because of it will uh, work in uh, proper orbits and every day it will take to near to our uh, moon so one day after 48 days 
approximate it will go to in moon orbit and this work done by orbiter so orbiters are basically 2379 kg and it can generate up to 1000 uh, watt of electricity so this is your orbiter now first hour second hour third sir third this is like a lander lander is just named after our Bikram Sarabhai and this weights 1471 kg and this is like a very important once like this orbiter take to our Chandrayaan second to moon then this is like your lander Vikram will land on south pole of moon so this is known as lander now fourth is sir rover pragyan after launching of or after landing of Vikram or our Chandrayaan second on moon so this rover pragyan will come out and it is like one type of vehicle it can travel up to 500 meter so it will travel to half kilometer and with this pragyan or rover pragyan we are taking different kinds of pictures we are taking different kinds of studies okay so all parts are important so basically sir our chandrayaan second consists four parts first is just known as your uh, rocket second is sir orbiter third is a lander and fourth is just rover so this is like a very important uh, information because of uh, they can just ask orbiter what lander what and rover pragyan okay so everything is important so everything just we have given here now sir important points from chandrayaan second First of all, Chandrayaan second injected into space after 16 minutes and 14 seconds after liftoff. Second, sir, weight of Chandrayaan second 3840 kg total weight. And third point, spacecraft as a elliptical orbit. Means, sir, for example, our Earth is this. This is our Earth. So it will follow elliptical orbit. Okay. So this is follow. This our Chandrayaan follow elliptical orbit. So in this orbit, it is going to be revolved. So, sir, nearest point from Earth 169 km. This is 169 km, this uh, uh, orbit. And, sir, maximum distance 45,475. So, I need to suggest my all student. This is Moon. And from ISRO, we launched our satellite with the help of our GSLV MK3. After that, this orbiter, okay, this orbiter will take this path, okay. So, it will uh, move in the proper orbits and day by day it will move nearest to moon so after 48 days or 47 days it come under the moon orbit okay so this work is over orbiter work is over now lander okay so this lander after 47 days or 48 days this lander will land on chandrayaan second land on our south pole of this moon and after your uh, this lander work over and then our rover pragyan okay so this will search a proper research and study by our rover pragyan so this is like a basically summarized structure of our chandrayaan second so this is like our and this landing on moon nearly 6 september 2019 after 48 days our this chandrayaan second mission just reached to our moon mission okay so after like some days it will go for proper studies and they will send proper data to our isro and fourth point sir india will become the fourth country to make soft landing on the moon okay so that's why this year this Vikram lander is a very important because of we are going for soft landing. So these are the very important data from Chandrayaan second and this is like a maximum to maximum you can learn from Chandrayaan second. Now we are going to discuss about ninth current affair Hall of Fame of ICC. Okay, so in July 2019 ICC inducted three cricketers in a Hall of Fame from India Sachin Tendulkar. Now 10th current affair Global Innovation Index 2019 theme for this creating healthy lives the future of medical innovation and top country in this rank. Switzerland, India 52. Now 11th current affair RTI amendment bill 2019. So this bill is just related to what? This bill sir some changes in our uh, RTI act. You know guys RTI means a right to information. Any government body you want some information you can just uh, apply RTI. But uh, in 2019 we are making some changes. Okay so changes related to terms of the information commissioners and second sir salary. So these two amendments we are going to change uh, in our uh, RTI bill. Now 12th current affair NIA amendment bill 2019 and this bill is again going to be very important for your exam because whenever just you see news okay related to Nero Modi related to Vijay Malia our government cannot take action that's why we are making some amendments to our national investigation agency act 2008 okay means sir any person now after changing of this NIA amendment bill 
we can take action outside of india also for example nirav modi went to london now from this law or from this act our government can take action to those persons who have like some crime or who have like some problem related to uh, indian citizens okay so now our government uh, can take action related to this uh, nia amendment bill now sir what happened but these bills are subjected to international treaties and domestic law of other country 13th current affair icc cricket world cup 2019 this year host country england winner england runner up new zealand and man of the match ken williamson and golden bat to rohit sharma india and golden ball to stark australia so this is like important data from icc world cup 2019 14th current affair the private sector companies which has highest ranked indian company in fortune global 500 list reliance industries very important 15th current affair the former md of sbi who has been appointed as md and cfo of world bank ms ansula kant now 16th current affair three year road map launched by rbi okay so this map just launched by rbi this report or this map is just known as utkras 2022 and this is especially for to improve regulation supervision among other functions of central bank means rbi so this is like a special uh, program for 3 years this is like a basically launched by rbi and your last current affair the convener of high committee of chief ministers constituted by central government okay so this is a special committee related to transform indian agriculture and increase farmer income you know guys till 2022 our government of india want to just increase uh, our farmer income to double okay two times of uh, whatever this they are earning now they want to increase uh, to two times now sir this again they just uh, making some committee and convener of this committee sri devendra fernavis so this is your end of july 2019 current affair video i need to suggest my all student some schemes and uh, some data related to budget 2019 i just uh, given on our gs community okay so just try to go there read proper every data is important for your exam i am again uh, suggesting just try to read properly and especially government schemes whatever like i just written there everything is very important for your exams just go there and read properly so in this video very very important current affair we have discussed especially your jal shakti abhiyan just launched by our jal ministry then we have just discussed different kinds of union budget and basically 10 points related to union budget and some schemes i just provided on our gs community then we just studied about chandrayaan second and chandrayaan second very very important data and from chandrayaan second these four components are going to be very important for your exam so you need to just understand and read properly everything and then your ni amendment bill is again going to be very important for your exam so, so these are the very important current affair from uh, july 2019 month and i need to suggest my every student like uh, after uh, watching this video just download the material from uh, description of this video and uh, then you just uh, go to our uh, gs community website and just read important data from there so thank you guys for watching this video thank you